What would you do if you lived opposite to some haunted woods next to a church? TikTok user BetsAnAngel69 can give you a glimpse into what this is like as she documents such an experience. As she has to witness daily paranormal activity from her front porch, in numerous videos shared to her account, she chronicles the strange occurrence of a dark shadowy figure of what looks like a young boy, walking back and forth in the clearing of a forested area near a church that is across the road from her home. The video itself is creepy, as we see what she is describing is in fact actually happening. We see someone pacing backwards and forwards, as if possessed, in an unending loop. This happens day after day, even during the night, as her dog can even tell that there's something there in the darkness, despite us not being able to see anything. Alright buddy, okay. He's growling at something, his hair is standing up. And you can see there's nobody over there. No she has made many attempts to go see what exactly is out there, but hasn't yet found the answer to that question. Okay, so everybody that's been kind of curious, this is the church that's directly across the street from my house that I was explaining. Um, this is the area where we see that figure. It just walks back and forth every day, all day. Now, I've been over there a couple of times um, as I walk up on it. There's just nothing there. Um, yesterday I went, yesterday was Easter. I went over there, but two big dogs that were off leash came out and uh, it was time to go. Then we had the storm, so. As soon as we're done with our schoolwork, I will record myself going across the street and show you that as you walk over, you no longer see what appears to be a person pacing back and forth for just hours and hours and days. I think today's like day five. So, it's a shitty phone. Alright, it's, what's today, Memorial Day? Yep. We're gonna, my husband has agreed to walk me over and see what we can find. I can't believe you talked me into this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't want to go over by myself anymore. Right. So it's right up here usually where you see it. I know. I but beyond that is all swampy. Is it going to be... Well, it's the power lines too. So. Okay. Oh. Somebody's working on a truck. Yep. Careful. All right. Well, well, here's the spot. This is the moment uh, we turned and ran. I know it might not seem that scary on camera, but when we were up that close, it was so loud, and it was just this almost guttural scream. Um, this is uh, the moment. We heard it and ran. You can kind of see us back there. And we took off. My poor husband was like this. He kept looking back. Um, I think at one point he was like, TikTok, I'm out of here. This is done. Um, I know a lot of people said, let's just hope it doesn't follow you home. So... I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen from here. So far, nothing yet today. Except for this little deer. I'm zoomed all the way in, guys. There's only so much I can do before it starts getting blurry. But... Taya, get over here. I can't even zoom in any closer. You see it? It just walks back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Hey, so I just wanted to maybe update everyone on my previous videos. 
I, about a month ago, around Easter, I had taken um, a video of what looked to be like a shadow figure walking around across the street in the woods. And it's, it's looking directly out my front window, so it's a little hard not to notice. Um, I initially took the video to send it to my friend, and she thought it was just super creepy. So, um, I started taking a couple more videos, I posted them on my Facebook, so just my friends and family could see. And, um, this went on for days, and he paces back and forth for hours and hours, not, not just for 20 minutes at a time. This is hours and hours and hours and days, weeks. I mean, here we are a month and a half later and it's been still there. Now there, there was about a week and a half where I didn't see anything. Although the trees are a little fuller now with all the rain and, and sun. So it's a little fuller. It is a little harder to see, but you can still see this shadow walking back and forth. Um, I wasn't sure if it was just maybe somebody with a mental illness, um, but hours and hours and days and days, day or night, um, that's a long time. So I, um, I... This case is very interesting, and it's one that we are sure isn't over yet. In all of our videos that we have witnessed and analyzed among the team, this case is one that truly had us curious and a bit unsettled. It's reasonably certain that she is telling the truth and documenting some type of residual paranormal activity. Perhaps it's the ghost of someone who died but is unable to move on and is stuck in an endless loop, repeating some action over and over again. Or maybe it's the spirit of a lost soul looking for something, or someone at that location. Regardless, we will be sure to keep following any developments as they happen and sharing anything we find out in further videos. What appears to be a person pacing back and forth for just hours and hours and days. I think today's like day five. So, 